What is going on YouTube? It is Lord Zhang Fei bringing you episode 22 of the Uber Set Challenge, Wan Yin's Majesty. Like the Diablo 2 set, Heaven's Brethren, this set also has no Diablo lore, but is paying homage to ancient Korean mythology. Wan Yin was the god of heavens and sent his son, Wan Nung, with 3,000 followers to earth to rule over the land. It was here where according to the myths, he transformed a bear into a beautiful woman. And the offspring of this love affair would be that of the legendary Dan Gun, who founded the city of Gojosan. Obviously there is way more to this story and that is just a brief summary of what I'm finding to be very interesting Korean mythology. Let's dive in and check these items out. First up is going to be the crown. This does give plus 20 to replenish life, a little bit of cold res, some magic damaged. And then we have the weapon. Unfortunately, this is an exceptional base weapon. So it doesn't really matter what the rest of the set bonuses are. It's not that good at all. And then we have the armor, the refuge. Pretty cool, 10% chance to cast static field. I do like that, 100 of life. And then the belt. The belt does give some defense bonus, but that is about it. Now you put them all together and the set bonuses do give plus two to all skills, plus 30% faster run walk, a massive 20% life stolen per hit. That's pretty huge. Plus 300 defense and all resistance plus 30. Unfortunately though, being an exceptional base on the weapon, my attempts at trying to do this with a Fury Druid were unsuccessful. And so we just decided that, hey, summoners are OP, so we're gonna just use a summoner. So we're gonna go ahead and create our army now. Some of the other gear that we use while we go get this army, I'll go over them. Uh, we do have a two to Necro teleport amulet. We also have some inexpensive dual res boots, a little bit of a faster run walk, a little bit of faster hit recovery on them. Nothing special at all. We also have two faster cast rate rings with some strength and some resistance. And then since we could not use my favorite amulet, Rising Sun, because we needed the teleport charges, we are using the Hellmouth gloves. Definitely want to get some kind of absorb down there in Tristram. It will make your run way easier. So of course we are getting our revives. Always go with the Erdars, as you guys probably already know. And the strategy is very simple. Surround the boss, spam terror. The skill points that we used, we did max Blood Golem, Golem Mastery, Skeleton Mastery, Skeletons, and then we put the remaining points into Skeleton Mages, and we do have one point Decrepify, one point Summon Resist, and one point Revive. It's unfortunate that the base of the weapon was exceptional, because this would actually be kind of a fun set to play around with if you could actually do some damage so of course the same kind of bug seems to be happening where Mephisto does not spawn any minions I'm not too sure why that keeps happening during these set runs I might try to look further into that because I've done plenty of summoner runs before and he never seems to have this problem but for some reason, when I'm wearing a complete set, he just does not feel the urge to spawn them, so. We were hitting him with the Crepify. It's not super necessary, though. 
just because the Erdars are going to put in the work. Go ahead and get our Merc back. Go finish him off. Uh, this run was fairly easy. As are most summoner runs. So with him down, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get some damage on Bale. I got a hiding suspicion that we're not going to be able to finish him off, though. We did lose quite a few revives there. Looks like we're losing a couple more, too. Fun fact about Terror, if you do try to do one of these runs, uh, you do have to have a Terror skill level that is greater than the monster's level. That really is a bummer because I would definitely be able to do some pretty cool low-level builds if that was not the case. You could probably do this with a level 30 if that was the case. Unfortunately though, without that terror, uh, you are going to get your minions completely surrounded and they probably will not make it. The Iron Golem, I don't think I specified what I'm using. I am using the Beast. Always love using Beast Rune Word for my Iron Golem. It is a little bit pricey, but you just can't beat it. In a normal build, outside of all this set challenge where my item slots are taken up, I will still use a Beast and play around with a different weapon. Maybe put some points into De Poison Dagger. I think a Dagger Mancer is probably one of my favorite builds. It's just a lot of fun to play around and pull in a Caesar, stab him in the back, you know the deal. Uh, we do have 114 faster hit recovery, so that helps out for the few times we get hit in between our terror casts. We do have 25 faster cast rate, just for a little bit faster teleport. And other than that, we're gonna go ahead and finish up Bale here. Uh, the stat points were just pretty much all vitality, enough strength to wear the gear, enough dexterity. We don't need, we don't need any dexterity for max block, so we have 79 dexterity right now and a whopping 491 vitality. That's pushing a 2100 hit points, as you can see. So he definitely is a little more tanky than some of the other builds that I do. Definitely got a good surround on Diablo right there, and they got some serious hits in. So we'll be finishing this up shortly. Our mercenary is using Infinity, Steel Shade, and Guardian Angel. I will say though, I definitely made a mistake with that mercenary because I have the Guardian Angel on. Uh, but for whatever reason, I did not socket an Umrune in the Helm, so we are not even at the maximum resistance. But it doesn't really matter. Let's go over the gear. This is uh, what I was working with here. Of course, we have the summoning skills, charms. Not super necessary, to be completely honest with you. Just trying to make these runs as quick as possible. Let's see if we can get us a good torch. It's been real rough. I know I said in the previous video, but it's okay. the truth. It was real rough uh, with uh, some of the torches we were getting. Let's see if we can stop that trend here. And nope, 11 11 assassin. That's arguably bad, worse than the one before. Well, y'all have a good one, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.